Um, I was talking with a guy at work, and uh, uh, he's watching season four of uh, Peaky Blinders. So okay. we were talking about it, and uh, I won't spoil anything about the show for anybody because Peaky Blinders is awesome. But he finished it, and I was like, yeah, man, I need a new show. He's like, yeah, I need a new show, too. So we were talking about, like, shows on Netflix and stuff, and we were both like, yeah, we watched that. Blah, blah, blah. So it was kind of like conversation was dying down. We were like, yeah, let's, uh, he, we were like, let's think of shows, and later in the day when we see each other, we're, we're going to have a suggestion. We're like, all right, cool. So, like, three and a half, four hours goes by, and I see him. I'm like, hey, I'm like, you, you think any shows? He goes, across the building. He goes, yeah, man, you ever watch porn? That's a good ass show. <laughs> nice. I'm like, motherfucker, there's customers here. <laughs> like, you find it on Red Tube. And right after he said that, I went, yeah, I like it. Season two was a little weak, though. Yeah. <laughs> like, so, yeah, if anybody needs. Season to... four had a lot of Asians. It was kind of weird. Whoa. But... <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> This entire time, I thought I was doing a show with Kyle, not Alan. <laughs> well, there's nothing wrong with Asians porn or Asians in porn. It's all good. However way you spin it. As long as there's not tentacle of It was great. <laughs> Coach never talks about the pornos. I had no idea there was Asians in there. <laughs> this changes everything. I gotta go, <laughs> I'm off uh, today, but I think I might just go into work just to <laughs> so, yeah, not yeah. be near your ass. Why are, what, noise, why are you here? Apparently, there's too many Asians in my house. <laughs> uh, this is no good. <laughs> I'm not reading this. Who's causing such a commotion? Hmm... And you stay and watch the pro shop. Oh, really? Is it full of tentacles? Yeah. Oh. Sure, if you think you can handle it. <laughs> what, all the tentacles? Find the people that are bothering and see if you can help them. The octopus <laughs> with yeah. all their tentacles? The octopi. Because there's one. Yo, I'm still setting up my stall, dog. If y'all got a real collection of golf balls to sell, I can't wait. Shit, that was two different voices. Hell yeah. Fuck. Welcome Whoa. To the fuck you. Whoa. Who? Oh, damn. I don't know who this man is, but... There's a wicked strong breeze off this peak. Let's blaze. <laughs> Think you can tame it, bro? Tame a breeze? Sh yeah. Yup, the wind is strong, bro. See how you can hit the big islands, my dude. The more centrical you can get, the better. Obviously, my man. He just bends over, drops his pants, points at his butthole. It's like, see if you can hit the big island. Yeah, the fucking anus, my man. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I'm talking about the brown eye. Yeah, the butt stuff, man. Nine hits. You got Come on, it. dog. Fuck me. Yeah. <laughs> it, just, it just gets really real all of a sudden. Nine pumps and we're doing Whoa, it. Whoa, that wind was brutal. Yeah, man. <laughs> what, you never been to county, bitch? Oh, the dude's from Boston. Look, overcome wicked strong wind. <laughs> the dude's from Boston. Is this, I was doing the wrong accent the whole Tom time. Brady? Is it Tom Brady or this fucking is, Bergeron? This is Tom Brady. You gotta hit the wicked strong wind, bro. That was not a Boston accent. No, that was that was, that was uh that was what people in New England would say. You're just terrible. Terrible. Oh, so I was talking with a, a different gentleman at work, and he God whoa, damn whoa. Wow. I thought I was playing golf, not fucking pinball. You right. Um he was, uh, he's a big, uh, Republican <clears throat> because his wife is a fucking, I almost said, far Democrat. I, I, almost, <laughs> I almost said farmer. She's a doctor. So they make a lot of money. So, uh, the Republican wow. shit works for them. When you make a lot of money, you fall into that demographic, huh? Yeah. It's weird. How that <clears throat> and also when you don't make a lot of money, you also fall into that too. It's weird. No, uneducated, not making a lot of money, you fall into it. Oh yes. Yes. Yeah, sorry. But, um. He was talking about how he hates Jimmy Kimmel. And I'm like, obviously it's because of his politics. Uh, it's always because of the politics. Yeah, but he he was, he was wouldn't mention it. And he was just like, he's never done a single thing funny in his entire life. I don't know how people consider him a comedian. But I'm like, people don't consider him a comedian. They consider him a TV host. 
but he's still funny though. I like him. I, I, I'm not I compared mean, to I'm, other TV hosts. I'm indifferent with him, but let me put it this way: between uh, <clears throat> Jimmy Fallon. And Jimmy Kimmel. Oh God. Jimmy Kimmel's fucking hilarious because <laughs> Jimmy Fallon just goes meh. That's all he does. Fuck Jimmy that guy. Fallon's fucking retarded. Yeah. Or I'm sorry, not to be offensive. Jimmy uh, is fucking mentally challenged. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hold on, I can do it. Jimmy Fallon is Amy Schumer. <laughs> yeah. That girl should have been aborted. Yeah. She, now that is someone that's not funny. Yeah. Even when she steals funny jokes. Or a hundred thousand dollars worth of fucking products. Yeah. Fuck that bitch. Fuck that bitch right into her big fat butthole. Cause she's gross and she loves butter. Butter face, am I right? Oh uh, <laughs> well, I don't know about that. Uh no. Uh, yeah, I don't want anything to do with her body and her face. Um, Cause she's a terrible human wow, being. Wow! Holy fuck! You got paid. Yeah. Thirteen fifty. Yeah, man. I've been listening to DMX all mur- m- What? All murder? Whoa. Well, I didn't know I was from Minnesota right there. I've been listening to DMX all murning. All <laughs> murning. Top of the murning to you. Uh, whatever. I, ex- I accidentally hurt? upgraded my power like a moth. But anyway, he was like, I hate Jimmy Fallon. He's never done anything funny in his entire career. I'm like, yeah, I'm not a fan. Totally like pandering to him. And then we went on break. We were hanging out. And I was like, hey, that's like the one toy you don't play with. I know. As with. soon as I threw it, I was like, fuck. I got two, I got two fucking oh, I mics right here. There. But uh, as soon as we went on break, I was like, yeah, I was like, check this out, man. And I pulled up the, uh, my name's Carl Malone. <laughs> <laughs> and he couldn't tell. It was fucking Jimmy Fallon. And he was dying and at the end of it i was like i mean, uh, mean jimmy, jimmy kimmel, kimmel yeah, yeah yeah at the end of it i was like that's jimmy kimmel he's like no it's not and i, I rewound it so you watch it and <laughs> his response was fuck <laughs> i was yeah. like yeah i was like he's a funny motherfucker <laughs> that's what i hate about like american government nowadays it's like you talk about that time out time out it's always been like that. You were just too young to notice it. Well, I, okay, well, like, yeah. well, uh, no, no, no. I, well, I know, but it's more... Whiter than normal? It, it, it's more so now that the president that we have. That's that's what I'm pretty much getting at. Is, I don't know. I love how the fact that it's like we can talk about Anal. the president and how Jimmy Kimmel is funny compared to people who don't think he's funny. And automatically, anyone listening is going to go, well, they must be Democrats. No, I'm an anarchist. No. It's like, no, just because we don't like the president or because a non-Republican comedian think we think they're funny doesn't mean that we're democratic. It means that we're fucking intelligent. Educated? (laughs) Yeah, exactly. Intelligent, educated, whatever. Republicans are retarded. Democrats are retarded. Well, it was Louis Black. That's, I didn't think we would get this political this early in the morning. But Louis Black said it best. He said, the Republican Party is a group of bad ideas. And the Democratic Party is a group of no ideas. And he said the only thing more dangerous than that is when these two fucking idiots work together. Exactly. Because <laughs> he yeah. said there would be a Republican that stands up and goes, Hey, I got a real bad idea. And a Democrat yeah. will stand up and go, And I can make it even fucking shittier. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's... Yeah, so, I'm, not, I'm not into politics. I've never yeah. been into it. Like... I remember when I was like in sixth or seventh grade and I learned what the electoral college was. I just, I, I just was like, wait a minute. So my vote doesn't count. My teacher's like, no, it totally no, counts. It doesn't. And I'm like, no, it doesn't. And they're like, no, it totally does. It's like, how? Not fucking joking. I got detention for asking that question. Yep. And that's when I was like, you know what? I was like, I'm... <laughs> fuck blue balls. <laughs> fuck blue balls. Who loves blue balls? I love blue balls. Yes, I do. I don't know where the fuck I'm supposed to go now. Oh, but, um, oh replacement next. You have 35 seconds. Take this one to the Redbirds. Oh, yeah, I'm going to have to do this again. I fucked this up. Waste too much time. But, um... Uh, yeah, like, I've I've always been an anarchist. I fucking... I, I f- don't fucking like government. I, uh, like, I, the whole, uh, the whole idea of every form of government just seems dirty and fucked up to me. Capitalism is the biggest load of bullshit ever. I'm getting off my soapbox. Sorry, I'm done. 
Uh, yeah, ben- will, uh... Benjamin Franklin quote, though. He's got two quotes that I love. One is, uh, lighthouses serve more of a purpose than religion in this country. Which I just love, because everybody's like, he's a founding father, he's so great, oh, he should have yeah. been president. I'm like, he's an anarchist and a dick. And then uh, his other one is, democracy is the best form of government except for every other form of government ever practiced. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like, whoa. I'm yeah. like, somebody likes the Ruskies. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but no, yeah, for sure. I, I will get off my soapbox by saying... You haven't even got on it. Get on it, baby. No, I, I will stand up and get off by saying we talk about you this. You stand <laughs> up and get off! <laughs> Normally yeah, I no, do this on my back. No, anyone listening throughout this channel, you have heard us a lot talk shit about Trump, but just because we do that, do not think for a second that we supported Hillary in the election. Because a lot of people make that mistake of, well, you don't like Trump, so you must like Hillary. No, it's like, I... No, I, they're both fucking idiots. I don't like the criminal racist, and I don't like... like the asshole I, racist. I don't like the <laughs> other criminal yeah. racist. Yeah, it oh, blows what? my mind. You don't, want to, you don't want to vote for her because she's a woman? No, I don't want to vote for her because when her husband was in office, she fucking ruined our housing market. Yeah. So, that's all I have to say on my soapboxes. Because I don't like Trump doesn't mean I like Hillary.